Welcome, this is a book demo for Instant Revit, a quick and easy guide to learning Autodesk Revit 2015. I'm Dave Martin, I'm the uh, author of the book, and I just wanted to give you an overview uh, of the book and how it's set up, and also show you how the projects uh, look at the end of this demo. So uh, what this is, is a book that guides you through a project, actually a series of projects using the Revit 2015 software. So we have, uh, first of all, a uh, series of warm-up tutorials, which uh, take us through three different projects using the 2D portion of the software. And for those of you that don't know, Revit is a, uh, a program that allows you to design and draw and document a project in 3D, uh, where uh, in the past we used traditional methods and 2D uh, CAD methods, such, such as AutoCAD, and uh, microstation but now we have the ability and we've had this ability for some time to uh, design uh, projects in a three-dimensional environment so this book will take you through an introduction to that software and it's a widely used software that we've uh, seen being used for by more and more architectural firms so we have uh, once again the warm-up exercises uh, two-story residential building tutorials this takes you from the building layout then we add kitchen cabinetry, appliances and bathroom fixtures, uh, schedules, so door and window schedules and a color room legend. Then we develop the site topography. And then we have uh, tutorial five, which takes you through creating the stairs from the first to the second floor, reflected ceiling plans, furniture plans and other miscellaneous plans. And then tutorial six has you set up design options. This is something, a uh, very powerful feature within Revit that allows you to present the uh, client two different design options or choices or more uh, within the project without creating two separate drawing files. And then we finish up with tutorial 7 which has us assembling the sheet views and, to, and portfolio. So this is an example of one of the tutorials. You can see here I've tried to keep it with a minimum amount of extra information. We jump right into the tutorial and we have you uh, use the Revit program to create these various projects. So this one is an example of the uh, warm-up number one, which is the drawing of a uh, two-dimensional uh, plan view and elevation view of a house. So we take you through. You'll notice that there's plenty of screenshots from the software that guide you through with short, easy steps. Plenty of diagrams showing you where you should be at a certain point. Also, we have screenshots of which tool you're going to be using. So we take you all the way through the project. We give you a step-by-step -step, um, overview of the project, uh, what you should be doing in which order. And then when we get near the end, we then have the project uh, printed using a, another software program that's a free download uh, known as PDF Redirect. And this allows you to create a PDF of your project. So we've taken you through the front view or the plan view. Now we're doing the elevation view here. Uh, detail views of the door in this case. And then we'll add in the dimensions so we fully document this view with annotations. And then finally we insert the view onto a sheet and we've supplied you with uh, title block files that I've created that you can download from our website at instantrevit.com. And then lastly, this tutorial has us uh, create a PDF of the drawing. So I give you a shot of the print uh, setup. And then this is an example of the PDF redirect program that you can download for free. And then we take you into the next uh, project. So uh, what this project or this book is meant to do is to give somebody with a basic idea of architecture, maybe you've taken a uh, traditional drawing class or maybe an AutoCAD class, and this is meant to give you an overview, an introduction to the uh, Revit software. So in this next uh, part, we'll give you an uh, idea of what the project looks like. So this is the first tutorial of the residential building. This will take you through the rest of the book. So we have you set up the uh, project, uh, various uh, levels that give you key heights of the building. 
then we have uh, you locate the building on the site uh, in relationship to a project base point that comes with the template file and then we have you lay out the exterior walls so we take you through I'm gonna go through this kinda quickly here so we take you from exterior walls interior walls so it's a very fast process and this is how Revit is this is one of the big advantages to Revit is it's very automated type software then we have you modify some of the walls uh, in this case you're modifying uh, a metal stud wall to make it a wood framed wall and then you'll place it on the drawing then we have you add doors and windows and this is where you'll be at the end of that part of the tutorial with the doors windows exterior and interior walls added and then we have you uh, add in some dimensions we show you how to create a 3d view of the object that you've already drawn and then uh, have you set up uh, some other uh, special walls in this case it's a partition wall between the garage and the rest of the house and then so forth so as you can see here the project gets modified along the way we give you screenshots of where you should be at a particular point in the project and then um, at the end of each tutorial you'll then move on to the next part so this is just taking you through adding the exterior and interior walls the roofs adding some materials and then here's the final version of the exterior of the house at this point in the project and then you'll go back in and dimension the 2d views that you created at the beginning of the project so this for example gives you a first floor uh, final dimension view and then you'll go in and tag the doors and windows later on you will uh, then add in uh, door and window tags to tie into the schedule and then lastly in this in this tutorial you'll uh, set up the first floor garage porch and driveway slabs so you do a fairly complete job on this house you uh, pretty much uh, add in the same elements that you would if you were actually building the house and then document those elements within the Revit software okay so next up we'll show you um, the actual project within the Revit software So now we're in the Revit 2015 software. I've already uh, opened the software to kind of speed things along. I'm going to open up the final version of the project. So what we have here is the end of the project. So this happens to have opened up on the electrical plan. Let me take you back to the first floor view. And here we have that first floor view that I showed you earlier in the tutorial. So you can zoom in and see the different elements that make up the residential project. So this is the final version of what you'll do at the end of the project. So not only do we have plan views, such as the first floor, we also have color legend views that show various uh, rooms and a color coding. We also have um, uh, foundation plans that you'll create. And we have uh, roof plans. We have a site plan with shadows and uh, landscaping and then we also have elevation views so here's the south elevation view of the house north elevation so you can see how quickly we can go from one view to another and keep in mind this is all in one file and then we have interior elevations so here's a view of the kitchen east so this has all the cabinetry located with some notes Here's another view of the living room east with furniture and of course you have the option to keep the furniture turned on or you can turn it off and we also have bathroom elevations and then we also create section views of the house this is an annotated longitudinal section of the structure and then we have uh, also garage wall sections here or a garage wall section and then detail views of the structure then the thing I want to end up on here is the three-dimensional views so here's your basic three-dimensional view of the structure so let me zoom in on this a little bit and then you can use your cursor to rotate around and look at various aspects of the object you also have section views so here's a section view of the house that was created earlier and what's nice about Revit 
uh, is you can adjust this section. So if you click on this uh, example, or for example, and then drag the arrows, you can see how I can change the location of the section view. And then I can also create a horizontal section as well, similar to what you would find on a floor plan. So you have this ability to show any sort of section on the object. And then we have some saved views in, three in perspective view. So here's an exterior view of the house. And then we have an interior, another exterior view. So this shows the, the view and section here. And then we have a front porch, or I'm sorry, let's go to the hall view here. So you can look down into a hallway. We also have a perspective view of the kitchen, and these are able to be rendered, of course. Longitudinal section, and then you'll create a perspective section. So we have all this ability within the same file to create various views of the object. Okay, so next up I'm going to show you some renderings that you'll do uh, at the end of the project. So we're going to finish up here with some exterior views and some renderings of the house. So this is the exterior view of the house. Then we have a view of the family room where we've added some furniture and some people. We can see a shot of the kitchen here as well. And then we have a shot of the kitchen here with another person. And we'll show you in the tutorial how to add in these uh, material files to uh, texture the uh, countertops in this case and also the floor and walls. Then here's a uh, perspective section of the uh, structure. A view of the garage with some fixtures that you'll add in. Another section view, this time of a longitudinal section of the house. And then a view of the bedroom with uh, furniture added. And then finally uh, a view of the living room with another person located. And notice how realistic these images are at a relatively quick amount of time. And we also talk about how to use the Autodesk 360 program to do cloud rendering, which will allow you to accomplish these renderings over the Internet so you don't tie up your program, or your computer rather, uh, doing these uh, renderings, which, are, which can be very time consuming. So that's pretty much it for our uh, book demo. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll uh, check out our website at instantrevit.com. Uh, we hope to uh, provide you with some good instruction of the Revit program. Thank you. So I'd just like to say thank you uh, for viewing the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this gave you some information about the book that you can use uh, to make your decision uh, on how you're going to learn about the uh, Revit program. Uh, please visit our website at www.instantrevit.com where you'll find more information about the book. So once again, uh, thank you very much.